Mina, could you do me a favour and grab that box of decorations from the boots? Hide them in your room till tomorrow? Decorations? Yes, yeah, uh, Richie's birthday. It's just a few balloons and banners. Do you always treat him like he's five years old? Nothing wrong with making a fuss of him. Much as I'd love to help. I've got a patient to visit. Mm -hmm. Oh, while I'm here, um, have you decided what you're going to do? About... The phone number I gave you. Oh, yeah. It's in the recycling. Do you know how much trouble I went to to get that? I'm not interested. Good job I kept a note of it on my phone. I said... I don't care. Ethan's interested. And he's got a right to find his mum. Well, he can go about it in exactly the same way as anybody else would. But why put him through it? You got the number. Again. A bit harder to get rid of this time. All you're doing is offering him a shortcut. Drop it, Mina. And it's a chance to win him round. Mm -hmm. This stops now, OK? I am not breaking my oath and I'm not going behind Charles's back. That is my final word on the matter. Goodbye. You OK? Remember Johnny Cole? That violent little thug from primary school. When you found out he'd hit me, you went barging into school and told Miss Pembroke if you went near me again, you'd rip him into tiny pieces. Poor woman was petrified. It might work, though. Guess I was better at protecting you back then. I didn't give you a chance to. You know, if I'd have just said something, then he'd st still be alive. <sighs> it's debatable. We could have got him help. I can't believe how stupid I've been. You've got to stop thinking like this, Vinny. And all that stuff that you said yesterday about always being the victim. It's true, though, isn't it? No, it's not. You trusted your dad. You wanted to see the good in him because you're a good person. Don't you dare let him take that away from you. But when he said he'd, he'd stop, you know, he'd, he'd stop once stress at wedding was over, I wanted to believe him. Of course you did. But there'll always be something else. Another excuse. Because... That's what abuse is. You know, putting a ring on my finger wouldn't have changed anything, not in the long run anyway. It don't make it any easier, though, does it? You've got to stop blaming yourself. You no. Know, there were times when... when I knew things weren't right. But I was just so wrapped up in my happy ever after and, and I'm never going to be able to forgive myself for that. Yeah, but you didn't know, though. That's the point, Mum. I do now. And we're going to get through this. I just don't know how to how how to deal with any of it. Well, that's what I'm here for. And we'll work that bit out together. I reckon I could watch her sleep all day. Yeah, I've noticed. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Oh, how am I supposed to know that? You're right, babe. You've been sat there, staring at it for ten minutes. There's things that they doing. Like what? I shouldn't need to tell you. I always get Faith back to stay. Let her do that, huh? Oh, you could try moving your backside. Do it yourself. Of course I will. Look, look you sit down and relax for a bit. Oh, except I can't, can I? Cos you should be at the farm by now. All right, but, but tonight we'll, we'll get a takeaway from the pub. Give us both a break. What, so you can sneak a pint in? I just want to spend some time with my family. Is that so bad? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just... I'm just tired. Yeah, you and me both. Hiya. Can you get me vodka tonic? Hmm. I don't know, sound too good. Actually, make it a double. It's about then, eh? Well, as long as you know that the offer is still there, we're all here to help you. Thanks. I might need to take you up on that. Jimmy, no, listen. About the other day, I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to uh, upset you. Can I get you a pint? There's no need. Please. Go on. Say the drinking alone. <sighs> Hiya. It's good to see you. I just want to say thank you for yesterday. 
It's all right. I didn't do much. You were there, and honestly, it, it helped. Look, it feels like I'm getting so much wrong recently, and especially with you. You've been going through hell. It's no excuse, though, is it? I think we've both made mistakes. No, you just tried to help me. Oh, it's done now. Oh, but I couldn't have got through any of this without you, and then I pushed you away, and I'm... I'm sorry. I still love you. Sorry. It's fine. A lot's happened. I know, and I, I wish that I'd done things differently. Me too. That's stuff I should have done. I'll see you later. Do you think, look, I know it's a big ask, but I want to give us another go. I'm in such a bad place, and I should never let Dad drive us apart like he did. Can make it work. I, I don't know, Vin. I'll think about it. Go on, I dare you. I've got to get back to work this afternoon. And plus, if Millie found out, I'd never hear the end of it. Oh, yeah, she's keen on horses, right? Thanks to Kim. There's no harm in it, is there? Well, it's a very expensive hobby. <laughs> How about you? You fancy having a go horse riding? Or anything else? Not especially. He's not normally this rude. What's so important, anyway? Uh, nothing. I was just, um... Looking for some information. For a client. A client or a new fella? He's a terrible liar. He's also entitled to a private life. Thank you. It's about time someone reminded him I'm not 12 years old anymore. <laughs> I'll worry about you. It's my job. A job for life, I'm afraid. You don't just stop because they insist on growing up. Ethan. Um, I didn't want to interrupt. I know it's uh, a sensitive subject. Um, I've had a chat with Manpreet. About? Um, getting hold of a certain someone. She told you? Oh, yeah. She needed to talk it over. Right. Only... She already made it pretty clear what she thinks. Yeah, um, but she's changed her mind. Decided to do the decent thing. She's got a phone number, Ethan, for your mum. Sorry. The answer's still the same. But you've got Mum's number. Well, Mina said you changed your mind. Well, she shouldn't have. But you have got it. Oh, so what's the problem? Look, I understand how difficult this must be for you, but I just can't let you have it. Then why bother finding it? Well, it wasn't actually... Look, Manpre, please. I've tried everything I can think of, and I need this. It's been tearing me apart. Look, I, I swear it will stay between us, but I have to call her. Get answers to questions that I've had most of my life. Only I'd given up hope till, until I got some from you. But it might not be that easy. I can try. How are you going to feel if she doesn't want to see you or talk to you? Same as I do now, I guess. I don't want you to get hurt. I already am. No, you know what I mean. It's been 20 years. She could have got in touch with you whenever she liked. Um, not if she didn't have my number. 
And besides, she might have been too scared in case I, in case I told her where to go. She might have been waiting for a phone call for all these years. And she might not. Well, that's my risk to take. But I can't carry on like this. And if she doesn't want to know, then at least I have my answer. You'd better come inside. I should have gone to the funeral. But I saw Vinny on his way and I just froze. He didn't want anyone there. At least he didn't think he did, you know. Thank God our lid's got us all there in the end, eh? Do you think Vinny will be OK? I'll make sure of him. He's all I've got now. And you need to think about your kids, right? You know, please just try and find a way of forgetting about what happened. As easy as that? No, but you need to find a way of getting past it. Good luck trying to convince him. I've told him time and time again. And you're still wrong. You've not been charged with anything. Yet. Exactly. I mean, you've hardly got the police banging your door down. They won't listen. Because you don't understand. Thank you for being kind. I don't deserve it. or something. I know it's been a long time and uh, you might not want anything to do with me, but if you want to talk or whatever, um, just, just call me, yeah? I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't seem to stop myself getting these little digs in. Yeah, well, everyone knows how hard it is having a baby. Oh, yeah, but I've not been fair on him, though. I mean, he's working really long hours. Of course he wants to spend time with her. And he does pull his weight around the house. I'm just basically a nightmare. I'm sure you're not, babe. <sighs> Look, he even brings in the tea when he's dead on his feet. Everything OK? Yeah, she was just telling me what a perfect dad you are. <laughs> I wish. No, she was. Oh, that reminds me, this new photographer that we're working with, he's got a voucher for a family photo shoot for tomorrow, if you fancy it. Otherwise, it's just going to go to waste. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Thanks, Leila. I'm not going to have time. Well, it won't take that long. It's going to be non-stop all day. You and Frankie can still go. Oh, yeah. Go to a family photo shoot without the dad. Great idea. I can't drop everything with no notice. Shame. She could probably do with a photo or summit on the wall. Give her half a chance of knowing who her dad is. Sorry. Could we do it a different day? I don't think so. It would be nice to get some proper pictures of her. Yeah, I suppose. All right, well, that's sorted then. I'll uh, drop the voucher on later. <coughs> I'm sorry for being narky. It's just going to feel weird going with her on my own. I'm sure loads of people do it. You'll be fine. <sighs> you sure you're OK with it? Well, I said, didn't I? You deserve some quality mum and daughter time anyway. Got a cuppa? No, I'm all right. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about before if I was a bit full on. It's OK. It's not fair, though, is it, you know, putting that sort of pressure on you? You're only saying how you felt. And I still love you too. But it, it's too soon. I mean, you've only just been through the funeral. It's a bad time to start making big decisions like this. Why, though? Because if, if, we, if we love each other, then we should be together. No, but you'd be doing it for the wrong reasons. It's not like that, I swear. You, what I said before about letting Dad force us apart... It's in the past. There's no point in going over it. Well, there is. Because we should never have split up, but he just put all this, this pressure on me because he, he knew that you were getting close to finding out. And I should have stood up to him and I, sh I should have been stronger from the start. But he died and then 
I wasn't thinking straight, were I? I mean, I convinced myself it never happened. How messed up is that? Man, you've been through a lot. You, you can't expect yourself to just bounce back to normal. You have to give yourself time to get through this. Which is why we need to take it slow. So it's not a no? I want you to be sure. I am. And I don't want to waste any more time being apart from you. So you know we can take it as slow as you like, but... as long as we're together. Then, yes. Really? Yeah. That's what I want to. What the hell do you think you were playing at? Guessing he found you. I told you I couldn't give out that number, but oh no, you had to have it your own way. I've done you a favour. By forcing me to be involved in something I wanted no part of, that is another level of selfishness. I've given you the chance to make things up with Ethan. I wish I'd been there. That there's something wrong with you. <laughs> no, do you not realise how badly this could go? It's his choice. And I'm assuming he didn't have a gun to your head. He was waiting on the doorstep like some waif and stray. I could hardly say no. <sighs> but at least he's not planning on telling Charles, so... Hmm. You do seem very caught up with what Charles is going to think. <gasps> it's almost like you're still in love with him. Just don't go there. I don't want him to get hurt. That's all. And now, thanks to your stupid, thoughtless meddling, that's exactly what's going to happen. Or... He might be pleased for his son. Maybe you need to stop making assumptions about other people's lives. Hi. I reckon you are right. I phoned Mum. Um, I'll leave you to it. Mina. Uh, sorry, um, OK, and what happened? Straight to voicemail. Maybe she'll call back. Or maybe she won't. Sorry. It's her. She... She wants to see me tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wow. That's soon. I, I know. It's, it's great, isn't it? You know, you don't have to rush into anything. Well, I might not get another chance. But whatever happens, I'm really grateful. I wouldn't have been able to find her without you. You're going to stare at me like that all night. I can't believe how close I was to lose you. Can I, um... Can I ask you something? Sure. About Dad? Yeah, of course. What actually happened? When he died, I, am. Um, I need to know. What, well, like, everything? Um. Well, we, we were... Well, I, I bothered him. So, um, well, to, to stall him. Stall him? Yeah, so, so Aaron could speak to you. But why was he at the barn? He, he was looking for you. <laughs> so we we talked. Well, we argued, actually. I'm sorry. It's OK. And uh, we we all got a bit. Is that when it hit you? <laughs> Liv, I am so sorry for not believing you. Oh, um, it all exploded. 
Um, you knocked me out. And when I woke up, he was trapped. I tried, Vinnie. You know, I really tried to, to get him out. But, I mean, there was a fire. He was desperate. We, bo we both were. We, we both tried to get the beam off him. And, and did you? I wouldn't move. And uh, I told him to stay calm and that I'd, I'd get help. Was he, um, was he in pain? No. No, I don't think he was. I should have done more. If we'd have lifted that beam out, I could have done it. I know, I could have... I could have dragged him out. He did all you could, all right? That means everything to me. I'll never forget that. <laughs>